Okay, in this video, we're going to have a look at an ambient light sensor, an ALS, and the sensor that we're going to look at is the VEML 7700. And you can see the sensor on this breakout board. Now, this breakout board is made by Adafruit, and this is the actual sensor here, this rectangular shape. So it's going to measure the amount of light that hits the surface area of the sensor. Now, the sensor board runs on 3.3 volts, and it outputs its data over the I squared C bus, and we're going to feed that into a microcontroller. In our case, it will be the SCAMP 3 board. So the data coming out of the sensor is in lux, so that's the amount of light that hits the surface area of the sensor as opposed to a lumen, which is the total amount of light emitted by a light source in all directions. So a candle would emit light in lumens, and the amount of light that hits the surface area of the sensor will be in lux. So the dynamic range of the sensor is 0 to 120k lux. That's a pretty high level lux. That would be like direct sunlight. And the lux resolution is 0 0.0036 of a lux. Now this sensor has a human eye response uh, re in regards to wavelength. So it has a human eye curve. But we could actually uh, configure the filter to, to be uh, even more sensitive to different wavelengths of light. Okay, here's a chart of some lux level examples. And you can see one lux would be full moon overhead. One hundredth of a lux would be a quarter moon on a clear night. And if you look down, family room is about 50 lux, a very dark overcast day, 100 lux, office lighting from 320 to 500 lux, sunrise or sunset, 400 lux, and if you go right to the very bottom, direct sunlight is 32k to 130k lux. So you can see the sensor has a large dynamic range. Okay, here's the schematic diagram of the circuit that I built on my breadboard. And it's very simple. We have two components. We have our ambient light sensor, the VEML 7700 on the left. We have our SCAM3 board on the right. Now the SCAM3 board is feeding power to the sensor through the 3.3 volt and ground pins, which is fed over to the 3.3 volt and ground pins on the sensor. Then we have our R squared C bus, the SCL line and the SDA line, which is fed over to the SDA and SCL lines on the sensor. So now we have the SCAM3 board connected to our computer through the USB port running TerraTerm and we can extract the LUX data from the sensor over the USB port into our computer. Okay, I have my SCAM3 board plugged into my computer through the USB connector here. So it's powering my SCAM3 board, which is powering the sensor on the very left. So now we can write some code, some simple code on the, running on the SCAM3 board, and we'll extract some data, some LUX data from the sensor, and we'll display it on our uh, computer using TerraTerm. Okay, I have TerraTerm up and running on my computer. And it's connected to my SCAMP3 board, which is connected to my ambient light sensor. So the first thing I want to do, I'm going to want to run modules, which is an I squared C scanner, just to make sure it sees my ambient light sensor. So I'll, I'll uh, type modules and I'll hit enter. And there's the three devices on the I squared C bus. So hex 27, that's the GPIO expander that's running the 16 LEDs on the SCAMP3 board. Hex 48, that's the temperature sensor on board the SCAMP3 board. And hex 10, which you can see there on the very left, decimal 16, that's the address of my ambient light sensor, so it's picking it up. So I'll type the word lux question mark, and we'll take a lux reading. So I'm getting 187 lux on my bench. I'll turn on my bench light, and we'll do that again. We'll check, we'll check the lux. And I'm getting 27, 2470 lux. I'll put a piece of paper over my sensor. And we'll take another reading, 522. I'll take off the paper and I'll shut off my bench light. We should go back to our original reading. This is 188. Now we could stream this. So I'll, I'll have a word called lux.test. So we could run that. So there's my bench without my uh, bench light on. So I'll turn on my bench light. I'm getting 24, 2400, around 2400 lux. I'll make a shadow with my hand. I'll bring my hand over. And she should start dropping. Dropping all the way down. I'm covering the sensor. I'm taking my hand away. Now if I bring my light sensor all the way up, and you know, touching my, uh, my bench light, I'm going to max out my lux. So I'll take it right up. You'll see it's increasing. It's increasing. And there's the maximum. 15,099, that's the maximum, it's maxed out. So if I have to go higher, I have to readjust my uh, my gain on, on the sensor. So I'll bring it back down to 
to the, my bench and I'll shut off my bench light and we're back to about 180, 185 lux. Okay, as humans, we can perceive light intensity logarithmically, so we could detect a candle in a dark room and we could work in direct sunlight, so we have a large dynamic range. Now to get a large dynamic range from the sensor, we have to adjust the gain and the integration time. So you can see here a gain of 2, we would use that for a very low level lux, and a gain of 1 8 for a high level uh, lux, like direct sunlight. And our integration time would be the amount of time that the sensor will soak up the light intensity. So in my case, I was using 100 milliseconds for my integration time and a gain of one quarter. So that gave me a resolution of 0 0.2304 lux. And that will give me a, a maximum lux reading of 15,099. Now the I2C bus gives us 8-bit bytes. So we read two bytes and we turn that into a 16-bit word. You can see here. So in this example, a 16-bit word is 1480, and I programmed my gain to one quarter with an integration time of 100 milliseconds. So that gave us our resolution of 0.2304. So 1480 times 0.2304 equals 341 lux. So that's how we calculate the lux coming out of the sensor. Okay, here's the code running on the SCAM3 board, and it's written in Flashforth. So we are going to go from data sheet to code without any library. And we could do that with three words, so it's pretty simple. So my first word is called reg.write. Now there are six commands that we could send to the sensor. So there are six registers where we send data. And they're 16 bits in length. And we do that in two 8-bit uh, chunks. So we send a, a most significant byte, then a least significant byte, then a register number. Then we run reg.write. And I'll write those two bytes into the register for our commands. So we start out with start, and we do a write to hex 10, that's the address of our sensor. So it's going to send the register number, and it's going to send the first byte and the second byte, and that will be our command. And here's an example of that where I'm setting up the integration time of 100 milliseconds and the gain to one quarter. And I do that by sending the first byte, the second byte, and I send those two bytes to register 0 and I do a write. And when I do that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pr uh, program the sensor for integration time, 100 milliseconds, gain of one quarter, and that will give me a maximum ceiling of 15,099 lux. So the next word is called lux question mark. That's when we want to take a reading, a lux reading. So we type lux question mark. So the first thing it does, it sets our integration time to 100 milliseconds and our gain to one quarter, and then we do a start, and we do a write to address hex 10, which is our sensor. So we send the command code 4, which means I want to take a reading. I want a lux reading. So it waits 150 milliseconds while it takes a reading. Then we're going to read back two bytes. We'll read back a least significant byte and the most significant byte. So there's two bytes, and we put them together to form a 16-bit word. And we do that with, uh, we shift the most significant byte eight times to the left, and then we or it, and we're going to get a 16-bit word. Now we have to multiply that. 16-bit word by 0 0.2304, and we're going to use fixed points. So we're going to multiply multiply it by 2,304 and divide by 10,000. And I'm going to take off the remainder. I'm going to take off the, the fractional. So we're going to have one lux resolution, and we're going to print it out, and that's going to be our lux value. Now then we could run lux.test. That streams it, so it's a begin until loop. So it's going to run continuously, and we're going to get a carriage return for a new line. It's going to print out the lux value. And that's going to that's gonna run over and over in this loop until I hit any key, and it will come out of this uh, program. So that's our main word called lux.test, where we could actually test the sensor and put it in streaming mode. Okay, so that was my little tutorial on the VEML 7700 ambient light sensor. And you could hook up the sensor to any microcontroller that has a nice squared C bus and extract the data. And you could get libraries from Adafruit and run it on many platforms. But in this case, we were running forth, we were running it interactively, so we could get it into those uh, command uh, registers and run it interactively. So either you could go with a library, or you could go direct register programming to extract a Lux data from the ambient light sensor.